Here's another shallow water bait. And this bait is going to be probably one of the first shallow water baits that you guys throw once this ice melts. First, first bait that everybody's going to throw is that suspending jerk bait. But then we're going to get into the rattle traps. It's an extremely good cold water bait. Cold water magic I have written up there. It trigger strikes in 30 and 40 and low 50s. Um, Pre-spawn fish, fish coming out of the winter. It is probably one of the best reaction baits that you can have. The classics have been won a lot of times on a rattle trap because we've been having them in February. And, uh, and that makes sense, that cold water rattle trap. You wanna, you wanna have that mantra in your head. Cold water, rattle trap. Cold front, rattle trap. Those, those go together. Whenever you, and, and what that is, is a negative fishing condition. Cold water, the fish are cold blooded. They tend to not respond or react as well or as fast, right? Cold fronts means falling water temperatures. You know, their, their metabolism is reducing. They're not gonna respond as much. But the rattle trap will snap them out of it and they will bite it. And they'll bite in the shallows and the cold water. And one of the, one of the keys, again, is a quarter ounce. That little bitty quarter ounce bait. A lot of people throw the halves, a lot of people throw the three quarters, but there are a lot of times, especially when you're in that two foot of water and less, that that quarter ounce bait will catch all the big ones. Um, down on the Potomac River where I learned to fish a rattle trap, this, was, this became apparent. We would fish and uh, the fish would school up in these massive grass flats in preparation to spawn and the rattle trap bite was on and we'd be catching 50, 100 fish a boat in, in, you know, in, on the good days, and, uh, and it was amazing. The half ounce would be on fire in certain situations, but you had to have that quarter ounce because there'd be other scenarios where the fish, heavy pressured scenarios, falling water temperatures, where the fish would only respond to the smaller, more subtle bait, mainly because you could work it slower in the shallow water. You could work it slower without bullying it. So the quarter ounce comes here. So you can see I got, I'm developing a, a theory or, you know, a practice about using these, these quarter ounce, these lighter baits in these finesse scenarios that are generating big bites and a lot of bites. What color rattle trap do you like to use? Good question. There's two of them right there. What color do I like to use? When the sun is shining, I'm having chrome. I don't care if it's blue back or black back. It doesn't seem to matter to me. But that chrome bait, when you have sunshine, will draw the bites. And by the way, smallmouth will, you know, swim through a brick wall to get to a rattle trap. This is one of those baits that's really, it's a dual species bait. But chrome in the, uh, in the sunshine, stained uh, water scenarios, the, the chartreuse. This is a fire tiger, but anything with chartreuse on it uh, really generates a lot of bites. Those are my two primary ones. Uh, one of the other colors that I'll throw, and uh, I'm pretty sure I have one sitting right here, is again, a crawl. This is a red crawl, and uh, the red crawls are really, really good. Uh, used to, you know, we used to think about it as a springtime bait, and it does excel in the spring, but I catch them on this color any time of year. And it's most visible when you get muddy and really stained water. This is a very visible color to throw. So between those two colors and the red, you know, that's, they're the three colors that I'll go to. Again, the EWG hooks on these guys. This is probably the bait that is responsible for most broken hearts in bass fishing. <laughs> they jump and get off this thing. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. And, um, but, but those EWGs really help keep them pinned. And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.